What about ours? What about our casket? What about our graveyard? What about that flower that failed to grow from my mother's trimmings? What about her tears that are hidden in the backyard? What about her silence? What about that window? Curtains are where our secrets are hidden. As for my mother's bread bin, a place where cockroaches have started building their dwellings. What about that bird that whistles to the sun demanding for warmth? What about the tree? Rotten fruits are my siblings that cannot even count their number of fingers and how to make a living. What about the stars? What about the galaxies? What about you? What about me? What about ours, Taurus? Your perseverance flows within our veins. Your unexpected changes gave us hope that there is a light flickering in the darkness, Libra. You broke the ground. You danced in a language of networks. Religion is a boundary of not opening chakra. So open ye chakra, but she is a Sagittarius. A mother that taught us how the clouds gave birth to the rain in a form of thunder. Even the lightning rejoices to the falling of the rain as it marches down our black spines, Capricorn. Your silence wonders me. As you have studied the five senses of the universe. Your judgment guides the rotation of the earth. You taught us how to search for a god in the sun, Scorpio. See, God left a jug of love inside of your hands for human beings to contribute their hearts in. So the jug accidentally broke and the next heart started falling for the other. But who said lips should touch in order for them to kiss? Who said we should fall in order for us to be in love? What matters is those little butterflies in your stomach. Yes, we love with our stomachs. But you taught us that love has nothing to do with the heart. So back to the destitute background as I closed my magazine, the first thing to hit reality was my father's rocking chair which is now my little sister's lullaby chain. But what about my father? A soldier that kept on shooting bruises on my mother's body. A thief that stole warmth inside of my mother's house. But what about my mother? A magician that cannot differentiate between day and light. Her bipolar sunshine cannot reach its constellations. So she keeps on banging her head against the wall, stretching her arms, praying to a mimic God. What about Jesus? What about Jesus? What about Mohammed? But wait, because no one ever gave a damn about ours. So be a little God of your own path. Pray in your own tongue. Let me meet your God and you will meet mine. It was nice meeting your God.